It was a freak accident that no one saw coming. A tire breaks loose from a truck and slams through another driver's windshield. That driver was killed instantly. Good evening. Prosecutors say the truck driver should never have been on the road at all, but the judge ruled they didn't prove their case. Bob Allen has more on the verdict and a witness who saw the whole thing. Bob. Well, Ken, the victim's family was so shocked and disappointed by the verdict, they just could not believe and, and they just didn't want to comment about it. We also talked to a woman who saw the accident and she didn't want to comment about the verdict or she actually didn't believe the verdict as well. 22-year-old Eric Gonzalez Huerta won't spend any more time in jail. He was found not guilty of negligence and causing a death while not properly licensed. Last November, Huerta was driving a truck and hauling a trailer on Route 28. When a wheel came off the trailer, it went over the median and crashed into the windshield of a car, killing 75-year-old Robert Lofink. Robin Kitt was driving behind the Lofink vehicle that day. She saw the accident and called 911. I just, you know, asked, was everybody okay? And I heard the wife say she was. She was sitting in the back seat, but he wasn't. So I'm like, uh-oh. Huerta left the scene, not knowing that the wheel came off and crashed into Lofink's vehicle. He was arrested when he came back to Route 28 to look for the wheel which had landed on the railroad tracks. Judge Beth Lazar ruled that the prosecution failed to prove that Huerta was negligent, saying he was not aware of the condition of the wheel when it came off. I was like, somebody should be held responsible. I like somebody died. It's not like something less than that, you know, mm -hmm. something very serious. Throughout the non-jury trial, the prosecution maintained that Huerta should not have been driving because the truck and trailer were in poor condition, with bald tires and worn brakes, and he had no insurance. A mechanic had warned Huerta he could go to jail, but the judge said those conditions did not cause the accident, and not every death is a crime or a result of criminal activity. I think that that was negligent, but as far as the cause of death, I guess, you know, they see it differently. Huerta was found guilty of 22 lesser charges and fined $1,800. As for his immigrant status, Huerta's attorney said he is married to a U.S. citizen and has been in this country since he was 12 years old, listed as an undocumented immigrant. Now, Eric Gonzalez Huerta will be released from the Allegheny County Jail. There are reports that the family filed a wrongful lawsuit against Huerta and the construction company he was working for. The family did not want to comment about the lawsuit as well. Reporting live from the South Side, Bob Allen, KDKA TV News.